Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an audience today. This is crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah. mom's like staring into my soul, dude. <laughs> I think you we could we too. I think we might have. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Zay Zay. Uh, just wanted to say what's up. Uh, today we have a special episode. Um, on my right, I got my boy, Zachary, with me. Uh, you know, the goat. At the end of the couch over there, I got the host with the most, hey. CJ. He's switching it up. I'm going to lead our little adventure today. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. Hey, what is, be good what was the campus poor people called? The campus poor people like... The, tour guys? Well, not the tour guys. Oh, they're called something else. But they're like the spirit ambassadors or something like that. Oh, like yeah. He's a spirit cool. ambassador yeah. for PCT. Oh, yeah. my God. I love it. We're going on this trip. Let me yeah. show you. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we, and our special guest here today, uh, we have uh, someone that I have gotten a little close with lately, and the boy Neff. Oh, Introduce yourself. Hello. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, thank you, sir. Thanks for coming on. Move it just a little closer. Yeah. Better? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, hey, what's yeah. up? Introduce yourself. Oh, uh, well, my name's Neff. Uh, you don't gotta do full government name unless you want to. Yeah, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why everybody, why I go by. So, no, I'm Neff. Okay, all right, Neff. Well, um, I wanted to bring you on today just because I wanted to chop it up with you to get yeah. you a little, get to know you a little more. I know you're, you're a huge, like, Big Austin FC fan, and uh, we're a big Austin FC Lisa's fan group. Bird is. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know. oh, that's who I'm not oh, playing yeah. with. But. Um, so, and we're also big fans as well. But I just, yeah. I think me and you click it very well, uh, and things like that. And I just wanted to bring you on, and you know, chop it up, get to know you, and have the gang know you a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, it's great meeting you guys so far. So yeah, hell yeah. Sure, he said so far. So far. Yeah. So far. Yeah. So far. Yeah. That's only yeah. downhill yeah. from here. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, no, before you before you do that, we didn't even do an intro, bro. Really. Oh, okay. Thank you, everybody, for uh, listening and watching the last podcast. Really do appreciate it. Go check it out. It's some boys on Floating Toe Boys. If you know, you know. Shout out to them. Uh, shout out to the boys. Yeah. yeah. Dig. Uh, I mean, I, I was sending it to y'all, and I was posting on the story, bro. That that pod got like a hundred views in less than, than a day. Hours. Yeah. And yeah. That's crazy, cause like podcasts like. A good, a good podcast is like a hundred views. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, I was like, damn, that shit's doing numbers. So the fact that that got over a hundred in less than a day is pretty crazy. So shout out to y'all. Really appreciate y'all. For everyone that subscribed from that podcast, welcome. This is, uh, you know, Park Car Talks. You'll get to know us a little more the more you watch our videos and stuff like that. But yeah, thank y'all so much. And uh, yeah, make sure you give us five likes. Yeah, give us five, five, five likes. likes. Uh, oh, don't likes. forget to follow us on all social media. Y'all yeah. know the gist. Hit the subs. You know, yeah. we, can, we can hop into it. Though. Yeah, let's get it. But yeah, let's, all right. Well, uh, tell us about yourself. Where are you? Where are you from? You can you can keep it as detailed as you want. We're yeah. not gonna. I'll well, let you decide what you want to say. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Oh, well, first of all, congratulations to you guys. The, that's a the big milestone. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. I, I mean, it, sure. in the Austin MC media, like, I can tell you guys, being part of a podcast before, mm -hmm. it's uh, hitting those numbers. It's it's getting there. And I'm yeah. sure you guys are going to keep it going. So congratulations Thank to you guys. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate uh, it. Yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been trying to grind, bro. So yeah. it, yeah. it's kind of cool seeing the growth of everything and the progression of how far we've come and stuff. So, yeah. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, so you, you probably understand it, bro. Yeah, so. yeah, no. I, I, like I said, I've seen, I've seen our the podcast that I was, I was a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing how it grows, and uh, it's you know the recognition that you get from it over time. Like yeah. seeing your seeing your project, your baby grow. Yeah, yeah it's definitely something to be very proud of. So Absolutely. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah, I appreciate yeah. it, bro. For real. Uh, yeah. Also, like I said, my name's Naf. Uh, I was born in Mexico. 
So I'm from Mexico. I came here when I was six years old. Where exactly? Uh, from Durango. From Gomez Palacio Durango. Yeah, so kind of rough area. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, where's that from? Like for people like me that you know. Uh, it's how a little close? Bit up north, how but. close is that to Guanajuato? <laughs> Not far off. Not very far off. I ask because we have another person in the crowd oh. who uh, has family over there and visits there all the time. Nah, <laughs> he's hiding <laughs> in the back. Yeah, he's in the back of the class. <laughs> yeah, we do have a live audience today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, like what, like fifty. Yeah, 50 out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Wave yeah. your hands. There we go. Whoa, dude, that girl showed her boobs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, you're done. But, yeah, um, so it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, pretty clo- uh, close. It's not far at all. Uh, probably. What two three hours? I'm mean, I'm gonna say that. I, I that's not. Yeah, that's not far anymore. Yeah, I, I haven't. Honestly, I've never been back since I got um, from here. here. Yeah, so uh, I would say if my geography doesn't film, so it's roughly. And really, anything in Mexico is not too far off, because you know Texas itself is fucking huge. Yeah. So yeah. Any distance, whereas it's kind of close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. like all oh, that's three four hours. Yeah, you go like yeah, eight yeah, hours, and that shit's still in Texas. Right? Shit's yeah, crazy. Yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's rough. So, but yeah, no, so I. I got here and I've been here ever since but the one thing you know since you've met me the one thing constant about my whole throughout my whole life has been soccer yeah uh, and, for real. and I mean that hasn't changed that's if you know me uh, as a person as a friend as whatever that's my big picture that's my that's what I love to do is my what I'm very very passionate about awesome. uh, did you play girl, younger yes yes yeah. I, I was very very fortunate to be able to play uh, Literally, when I got to the country here, I just when I was in Mexico, I didn't really get to play at the level that I got to play here. Uh, but once I got here, I took my first, uh, had my first club games here. Uh, I developed into uh, a better league and little climbing up a little bit up the, up the ladder. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, I never got too too far. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I was able to play and learn the, the game and fell in love with it year after year. What, what yeah. uh, position did you play? Uh, that's, a, that's a great question that I, I love that you asked. I guess I've played everywhere. I played, really? as a, I played as a goalkeeper, I played as a striker, I played as a defender and a midfielder. I've played every oh, single yeah. position at least two years. What's yeah. your Damn. favorite position to play? Man, if yeah. you would have asked me like five years ago, I would have told you goalkeeper. No, like really? that's that's where I would have been like that's it. Yeah. But lately, now I I took like about a three year gap where I stopped playing almost completely uh, because of work and this and that. I had I got chin splints like almost immediately after I stopped playing club, mm-hmm. and so I had to stop. Uh, but now when I go play pickup, I love playing as a winger, as, a, as an attacker. It's, yeah. uh, to me, it's scoring goals and celebrating and watching, uh, especially now that we have the team here. Yeah. You know, yeah. picturing yourself like uh, scoring. Yeah. Especially because a lot of the pickup that I play is mm. outside of the stadium at, in that little uh, grass area where the where they park. Really? Uh, yeah. There's a Los Verdes uh, pickup. Mm-hmm. That we they gather there. Uh, every so often, yeah, and yeah, that's where we play pickup. So oh, you know, sure having the stadium so close to us, yeah, and scoring yeah. goals there, so it's just, it just feels very, very close. Yeah, it feels like it feels like how you, you do when you're like a little kid and you're like, oh, yeah, like, it's I'm about dream. to be, yeah, like I'm about to be there playing. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. Uh, so JG had wrote a question: What clubs here in Austin did you play with? Uh, so I don't know that they still exist. Mm-hmm. I know that um, it's it's called Millennium. Okay. Um, and I know that they were like co-owned by two Mexican clubs, uh-huh. uh, Pachuca and Monterrey, at one point. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, so yeah, the, that's that's where I played at. Okay. Uh, I had a, like a one-year stunt with Lone Stars as well. Okay. Uh, but that didn't last too long. Yeah. Because uh, it's um, that moved a lot. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, that's it. I think I remembered you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in the same team. Wow. Yeah, we're in the same Small team. Yeah, so JG, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's right here on the team. And, us, and he said that he actually played for that same exact team. So wow. Yeah, it's wild. Because uh, uh, I still have some of the pictures from, mm. from, back, the, uh, from back then from, the, from that team. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's it's really awesome. Small world. world. Our so, intern. And, yeah, uh, intern and have played yeah. soccer before together. Yeah, wow. small world, man. So small you said 
Uh, you moved here from Mexico when you were yeah. six. How how was that experience for you? Like moving to Texas or you know moving to the states? I guess like was it a big culture shock or what was the your takeaway from that time of your life? Like, man, I'll tell you, I, it was definitely a big culture shock because my first day was also my first day in school. Mm. So I got here like let's say at four in the morning, six o'clock, I was in the clinic getting my shots. Oh, shit. And yeah, then I guess at eight o'clock or nine o'clock, whatever time school started, I was in class. <laughs> so, Damn. yeah, so straight off, straight off the boat, basically. Yeah, it went um, straight yeah, to school. Straight to school. Welcome yeah. to America. Yeah, yeah welcome. They basically <laughs> said, uh, fuck you, here's your bag, go and go to school. Damn. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was my first day here. Was now, that first grade? Uh, first grade, or yes. Can you write first grade? First grade. Yeah, I went yeah. straight to first grade. It was Where, how, how, how did you feel? Like, were you nervous or what was? I'm the, not gonna lie, dude. I it was I was a big. I, in Mexico, my dad came here before me and my mom. Did. So okay. when I, when I got here, it was me and my mom moving over here. Oh, gotcha. So gotcha. I I hadn't had any recollection of my dad really because he came over here when I was about three or a little younger. And he like was like so, working and so I, I honestly didn't really know my dad. Like gotcha. I knew his voice. I talked to him on the phone. Yeah. Uh, that was my FaceTime or some shit like that back yeah, then. So yeah. uh, I really had very little recollection of my dad. Gotcha. And so. I got off the boat, uh, off the off the bus, yeah. and I'm, I'm walking. <laughs> I'm, I'm walking. I'm waiting for my mom. To, yeah. She's picking up the luggage. Yeah. Uh, I get picked up. I don't know who the fuck it is. Yeah. Uh, it's my dad. Uh, like, yeah. I didn't know. I thought I was getting kidnapped. That upset. Yeah, you had no idea who was. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I had no idea. I'd never seen like none of that big city like Austin is. Yeah. You know, that that in itself was big, big culture shock. Exactly. Got mm-hmm. you. Got you. So, so, go ahead. You got it. No, no. I was like, yeah. uh, so <laughs> let me let me ask you this then. What kind of like led y'all to Austin? It's like that. Um, um, well, wrong. it was really just uh, you know like I guess the American dream. You know, the yeah. better opportunity and you know getting here and you know just trying to do better yeah. in, in Durango and like a like like in a lot mm-hmm. of places in Mexico. It's more about you know surviving and here you really get an opportunity to not just survive but to go above and beyond and yeah. try to do go more with your, with, well, out of your life and for future yeah. generations mm-hmm. then in mexico is more like survive and try to keep mm-hmm. the generations kind of within the same range and it's yeah. really hard to like do more than what you can gotcha yeah yeah i'm always like entertained by, like asking people like they moved to certain like cities with that. It's like you know, like what, like what led y'all to, like that set the city? Like it's kind of interesting. Like just asking people that because like there's different reasons that go into it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know anything. About that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, an interesting story. To yeah. Hear. Like, I, yeah. I understand it. Like well, obviously not understand it, but I, I'm not from Austin originally. I moved here when I was around like 12, 11. Yeah. So around that age. So. You know, obviously not having to move to like a whole different country and stuff like that but it definitely was a culture shock for me too still being from the states but like not being from like the south you know like yeah i, I was like, i grew up in vegas and like the thing the first thing i noticed when i moved to austin was just how like prideful everybody was yeah like, that is like, a big thing here in texas like if you're from texas you're gonna say you're from texas you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and it's something that's something that i could like really get a grip off because mm. in Mexico like people are like, Same, yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's very exactly. very similar prideful very like, prideful yeah. like uh, like they we Mexicans really clean where we're from like, yeah, absolutely like, yeah. we're from this state and you know you're from that state fuck you and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really, yeah. Yeah. very similar to here so yeah. that, I, that's one of the things that you see in Texas that you don't really see in a lot of other states like mm-hmm. in California I yeah. got to visit California a lot everybody's just from everybody but yeah. everybody still claims where they're kind of from yeah absolutely not yeah. until it was probably like 10 years later they're like oh yeah I'm from California yeah, yeah. yeah. until they claim it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel that, bro. so I guess going more into like soccer and stuff for you mm-hmm. uh, who are the clubs that you support and like we could do like all the leagues since there's so many yeah. or whatever ones you watch however you know i know there's so much so it's kind of yeah yeah so uh, me as a as a soccer fan where i really started obviously in mexico so mm-hmm. santos laguna is my hometown team okay. you know uh i follow them since since i was uh, since i remember it's the yeah. very first team that i remember like watching a game of yeah uh, uh you're, you're probably wearing like a onesie of like yeah, that, drip, that team oh, man so, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah i I, do, I know i have a, a picture up in my house um, my mom has it uh-huh. of me wearing like and really like a 96 uh 
from year 96 with yeah. the kit of, uh, of the team and then I can't, I've never been able to find it but I know that that it, it, yeah, you know it's yeah, around yeah, yeah okay. with my face paint what, and whatnot. what was the name of the team again? Santos Laguna so they're um and that it's a team that is claimed by three states because of uh, how close it is. Uh, it's Durango, Coahuila, and th- I don't know what the third one is. I don't remember at, at the top of my head. But Santos Laguna for me, dude, it's, it's like that's where, that's that's my roots. That's where I'm from. That's my hometown team. Uh, then. We wow. will go to oh, okay. what yeah. I was aware. You know, I know we'll, it's a we'll lot. We'll go to where my yeah. where my true love and you know and, and soccer and football is, which it's is Real Madrid. God, Real, Madrid. Real Madrid is if you want if you're not into soccer at all and you want to see the top pinnacle of football. Oh wow. You you want to go? You want to see Real Madrid? Absolutely. Now obviously you you have your Barcelona, your Bayern Munich, yeah. all of that. Real Madrid is the team that. As you yeah, can see, right there. that is what you modeled yeah. your sticker. Yes, after. yeah. Show, and show, the camera. show the camera. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that. Hey, cameraman, grab a sticker <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah. So that that sticker right there is actually from uh, Peña Madridista Austin. Mm. Uh, I'm actually the director of media for them, oh, sure. which is a uh, some a big big achievement for me yeah. because of obviously uh, Real Madrid as Vegas it is a club. Um, it's not that big in the United States. Because it's a Spain. It's from Spain yeah. to Madrid. But our uh, our supporters group, our uh, our Peña, is officially recognized really? by Real Madrid. Oh wow! Yeah, so they know we exist. They know like they can contact us. Like me as the head of media for this page, I can email the club directly. Oh shit! Sure. I can email them direct. I can Damn. their media people. I have a. Uh, I have their uh, business cards and everything. Oh shit! Sure. So uh, if we need information, we need pictures or this and that, we I can just you know shoot them an email. And if I want to use their, you know, like if you were to take their Instagram pictures or their Twitter pictures, or whatever, save it and then upload it as your own, mm. you know, you get copyright claims yeah, yeah, yeah. for that. Yeah, absolutely. we don't because uh, we have direct, yeah. we yeah, have direct permission from the club uh, to use Jeez. all of that. Yeah. So how long have you been uh, <laughs> like the Media. Uh, so it hasn't been that long. I the, the Peña itself has been around for about a year or a little more. Okay. Probably like two, three years. Yeah. But uh, I was I found out about them like a, a couple months ago, and I was very blessed because um, I'm not able to go to Spain. Yeah. And just to Madrid to watch them play live. Yeah. One day. One well, day, yeah, oh, absolutely, one day. yeah, that'd be wild. Uh, but as a, you know, the biggest game in the world, it's El Clasico, Real Madrid, yeah, Barcelona, yeah. Yep. and like, it's hard to that you'll ever get the opportunity to see them play live here, right? Much yeah. less over there. Yeah. Uh, they played in Vegas this summer. Oh shit! And Peñas get uh, like exclusive tickets or good deals on the tickets to be able to go into form a supporter section. In which you know you can go to watch a classic game. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, and, no and as for representatives of La Peña, we all, we also got the opportunity to be in the uh, same hotel oh. as Real Madrid, hmm? and oh. Real Madrid oh. board. We got to go to a party uh, with Real Madrid executives and media, and yeah. after that party, the morning after, we were <laughs> we all had to get up uh, up early and go to the MGM and had a meeting. Uh, with the head of media for the USA of Real Madrid. So, uh, okay. Yeah, so I, I, I was able, I was very lucky that in a couple in a couple months weeks of just I was able to go to Vegas for the first time. Nice. Uh, Fuck yeah. And, and not just that, but I was able to go to watch El Clasico. Mm-hmm. And much more than that, I mean, I was able to get direct contact with the club. And that's, this is yeah. the club of my dreams. This yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is literally what you put your your logo after. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, logo and like it's just one of the biggest clubs like in the in the world. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it's one yeah. of the, it's that's a brand itself is mm-hmm. probably the the biggest right now. Yeah, I I know for a fact like I mean Ch- we just Champions League, Champions League, like, and what, yeah. I mean. We we have fourteen, you know, yeah. Not 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 to brag, right? But yeah. our closest competitor, you know, the the second play, the team that has the second most Champions Leagues is seven. Mm. 
Mm. And that team is nowhere near AC Milan. And they're, they're nowhere near probably well, which getting already, another one. Yeah. yeah. So they already yeah. have as, twice as many Champions League titles as them. And, and that's just in Europe, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the team that I like. When I first watched them, I was like, "That's it." Yeah. And then I was very blessed. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, "That's my team." Yeah, that's my team. That uh, I was very blessed that uh, I also had my favorite player play for Real Madrid, Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was able to have my two, my my two uh, like Tom Brady and the Patriots. Yeah. Know, yeah, thing yeah, where yeah. We got we got to see two two things that were meant to be t- uh, together. together. Yeah. Yeah, and played out. It was it's beautiful. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. And that was just recently, like. Or uh, no, so Ronaldo got to Madrid in 2009 or uh, summer of 2008, I believe. Yeah. And he left in 2018. Oh, that's yeah, so He did a, a good amount of time there. He, he has a that's fantastic. That's like, like a little under 10 plus years. Uh, he did nine. Yeah. 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 yeah, so he has summer of 2009. Got you. Uh, he did, he says wild stats, dude. He has yeah. 450 goals for Real Madrid in... Uh, <laughs> 450 goals and 400 appearances for the club. Damn. So he has 50 more goals than he has appearances. Yeah. Dang. So that's, that's it. so it's what, insane. And you said you've been watching soccer for your whole life? Yes, yes. Basically gotcha. since I started playing. Yeah. Uh, and I honestly probably started playing before I watched because I could, I mean, you can watch it, but you don't really understand, understand it, it at that yeah. age. It's more of like, oh, this and that. But I do remember yeah. uh, when I was like exclusively watching Santos at 10, because I didn't know Madrid. Yeah. Uh, I remember there was one specific, uh, there was a final that Santos played. Mm-hmm. I remember watching the game and then getting so excited about it. I would go outside and practice the play. Mm. Some of the balls and everything. Yeah. I, I, I would go outside, yeah, and yeah. Just dribble the ball and try to do the same shot. Yeah. And, or I'll watch like, on YouTube, watch Beckham and we'll try to curl, curl it the same curl, way. Yeah, yeah. free yeah. kicks and shit. Does that. Yeah. Yeah. And well, so after Real Madrid, which, you know, I could talk like forever uh, yeah, about Madrid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, comes the next love of my life, which is obviously Austin FC. Uh, Austin FC hey, has been. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yes, sir. Uh, Austin FC has been. A blessing, a dream come true mm. to me. I mean, just the fact that we got to see a professional soccer, uh, soccer team here and being at the stadium, it's it's insane. Every yeah. time, every it's been two seasons I haven't missed a game, a uh, home game, and I've watched every single game. And every time that I walk into the stadium, I can't help but feel like I'm at home, and it's like the most beautiful feeling ever. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's. As, and especially, I mean, last season, you know, you guys know how I went. Like, yeah, we were yeah, almost yeah. dead last. Yeah. Uh, of course, Houston was last, so fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck Houston and Dallas, both of y'all. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, I mean, seeing them now on a second seed and to get a whole playoff game, that's insane. Crazy. And, and the progress. Uh, but Austin FC, not only as a fan, has brought me that, but it has brought me the ability that. As a fan, I've been able to realize more of what my dreams are mm. because, uh, you know, I, as my younger self would say, of course I want to be a soccer player, right? I want to yeah. go, on, I want to go pro. This yeah. Day. And you know, as you get older, you not every brother, and everybody gets to realize that dream, especially not having a professional team yeah. because when we were playing in Hawaii's, uh, Austin FC was not a team. Yeah. It, it was a. Uh, a dream. I remember we would used to say after practice, like, "Man, we gotta get ready because we're gonna, we're, there's gonna be a professional team one day, and we're gonna yeah. play in it." And then it yeah. happened. Yeah. And then it happened, but, but we're just saying a little yeah. too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that has. I I took every opportunity I could. Yeah. Uh, I was able to uh, within this first season. Uh, that last season, I was able to join We Are Austin TV, which was uh, which is the biggest media. Uh, uh, fan led of Austin FC, okay. uh, and the the guys are great. Uh, I love the guys. Shout out to We're Austin TV yeah, and yeah, Top Five yeah. Podcast, of course. Hey. Uh, they're the way that they do fan media for Austin FC is on another level. Like you, the nearest podcast to them is probably not doing. It's probably doing half their numbers, honestly. And it's not just about the numbers, but it's the passion that they put behind yeah. it. Uh, uh, my boy at with and and Bali and Brian and all of them, uh, they put in so much work into it, bro. And they've got to the point where we know players, you know, we've got to talk to players personally on a personal level mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, so you, we're getting ever so closer to be that 
like official like of, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah getting into that I mean uh, they recently got media passes mm. so uh, one of the guys is getting content from uh, field level so and stuff like that so yeah it's it's amazing what they've been able to achieve in very little time because these guys they they already broke a big transfer new before even ESPN did mm. so got sources from inside from outside of mm-hmm. and we were able to break news uh, of our la- latest signing Rigoni which mm-hmm. it's like the big deal right now yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but it, it's been a dream come true get, being able to get that close to to the club itself which leads me to what I want to do uh, because say whether I want to be a coach or this or that I want to be sure that I end up working in the field in the industry that that's my bottom line. Gotcha. Uh, actually, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, how did you get that opportunity to like work with Austin FC and stuff like that? Was it something that like before they even made the team, you were already like a part of it, or like, like how how that happened? Like, no. So uh, we're Austin TV as a complete independent project, right? Mm-hmm. But even then, no, I was not. I was a fan of We Are Austin TV. Okay. Uh, so it was. But what they basically do is, the main thing that they do is after the games outside of the stadium on the Seabird Gate, they do fan interviews, right? So right after the game, you know, you're drunk at one night. Yeah, you, you go out there, the team loses, the team wins. So uh, fuck these guys, they suck. Yeah. Like, they're the best fucking team in the world type shit. And, yes. You know, and, and you know, the yeah, other, they open the, call, uh, the content that. and whatnot. And that's that's the main thing that ha- kind of has projected We Are Austin TV. Okay. But that's what started to okay. pro- project it. But what's really, if you follow the journey of We Are Austin TV, it's gone from like, Look at those edits that, that Hernan produces, dude. Mm-hmm. Those are sick as fucking edits. Yeah. And he, I mean, he didn't go to school for it. Yeah. You know, he just, he's a self-taught. self-taught. Yeah. It's just, uh, shout out to him. Cause yeah, shout out to him. Uh, the, I've tried editing, you know, some stuff. It, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. No, it's, it's one of those things, too, where it's like, man, like, the fact that you're doing this, like, you know, obviously you're not getting paid from the beginning. And like you said, he's doing it because he enjoys it and he's just so yeah, passionate about it. It's the for club, the love you know? of the sport, really, yeah. for the love of the team. And there, you know, there's other people here and there that can probably get, you know, they get sponsors or maybe they're a little bit more affiliated with the club and mm-hmm. whatnot. Yeah. And, you know, they, they, they get that opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but all of that has a cost, yeah. you know? And we are Austin TV, can't say that it's completely dependent like uh yes you know the players uh here and there yes they might uh they might have a conversation or two but they're not compromised to say oh this guy's good like yeah. you guys have to nurture him and this or that no like if the player's doing bad they're gonna say it Gosh. Especially hey, my boy Bobby, man. You that, are not doing too good right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, he was not looking hot. It, it, it's, yeah, no, no, absolutely. It's all their stuff, right? Like it's not. Yes, like, no. affi- like obviously, like you know, like you say, you know the players, but they're not like an affiliate of. No, like, I mean, and you know it's, I mean? so they're it's able to say. Personal level yeah, kind they're of able thing. to say yeah. what they want to say. It, yeah, yeah, and it's, like, it's an uncensored yeah. media type. Yeah, and that and that's check them out for sure. Yeah, check them out. We are Austin TV. We are Austin TV. Yeah, we are. Can we? Can I have the intern look that up? We are Austin TV, please. Thank you, JG. Uh, you are not we are, our intern. We are Austin TV. Hey, you can you my editor put right here? Yeah, editor, actually, right here. Aren't you the editor now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was mental note for myself. Oh, okay. Come back. Hey, yeah, Zay, come back. Zay, Zay, come back at this time. Yeah, check it out. Edit right here. I'm like, do I follow the? I follow like s- some like. Awesome. I'm pretty sure we. I follow something like that, but yeah, bro, that's awesome. Like, yeah, because like, I mean, a realist, that's like essentially what we're trying to do just not obviously not just for austin yeah, yeah. see you know like we're trying to just kind of build our like brand yeah for being ourselves really, new platform. Yeah. exactly and that's i mean that's essentially what what they're doing too so that's awesome like I, i'll definitely you know have my eyes on them and check them out for sure because that, that's the type of content i like to see you know like yeah. outside of the stadium like it, it, after a win it. or even a loss you know it's like how y'all feeling? What yeah. y'all think about today's match? Like, shit, like, like that's the type of vibe they do? Uh-huh. Awesome. Yeah, no, dude, and, and I'll tell you much. I, like I said, I was a fan of them before I even got to be a part of them. Yeah. And just, you know, 
I mean, seeing them like care after every game or whatnot, mm-hmm. it's just like oh hell yeah, almost watching thousand. all these games, watching all these reactions. Every single person that you see on these interviews, like we've gotten to know them. Yeah, like that's me at the on the cover. Go, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Right there? Right there on the, hey, the, the third one? 25. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, get them to 1K, bro. Come on now. We almost there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Please, Nine, guys. 941. Uh, I, I want them to get to 1K by the, end, by the time we post this episode, bro. There, for yeah, real. See, and, see, and that's not even the studio they have now. That's the OG studio right there. Oh, shit. But that's, uh, that right there's Hernan, Primo. Uh, you got Brian, Bali. Hell, yeah. Um, Danny Bands, of course. It, the, the guys are great. If, you know, you can yeah. check them out on uh, Top 5 Podcast as well, where they yeah. talk about uh, more of, like, Austin FC, the, you know, the review of the game. Yeah. And, you know, more in-depth. Uh, like concept, a so they, yeah, how the and season's going to go yeah, 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 and, 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 gotcha. and they also do uh, European uh, soccer as well oh, so, they, so oh, they do shit. a pretty okay. well coverage of uh, you know the, the sport itself awesome yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, like I said uh I've, I've been interested in soccer because of FIFA low key like yeah, yeah, FIFA yeah. 14 is what got me super into soccer and then like after that like kind of fell off and then once once Austin FC became a thing and I saw that they were getting a team and shit I was like Oh, bro, I'm, I'm going to keep up with them. Like, you know, this is something that, like, we never really got to experience a professional team in Austin before. I mean, like, UT is, like, pre- pretty much the equivalent to it, but, like... Uh, people would say otherwise, but... I'm talking about to the scale. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the, the, you know what I mean? Like, everyone fucks with it, but, like, not, like, an actual professional league and stuff. So, yeah. once that, I saw that they were getting a team and shit, bro, I was like, oh, I gotta keep up with them. Oh, so, no, totally. You know, I kept it's, up with it last year, and, I mean, I wasn't super into it, but this year, I was, like, deep into it. Like, I mean, I pretty much watched, missed maybe, like, a couple games, but it's because, like, we were doing stuff. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, shit, like, there's a game on this whole time I didn't even yeah. know. But, like, even times, there's, like, when times, my favorite are when, like, we do something and we're like, holy shit, the game's over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, we're like, oh fuck, we can watch it. Hell yeah. no, I, I'm starting to appreciate soccer a lot, man. Like, I, I, I really do enjoy the sport. Like, I'm, I've been uh, watching podcasts and stuff about mm-hmm. like they, they'll talk about like the Premier League and oh, stuff like man, that. Yeah. Like, so I'm, I'm pretty into that. And right now, like my favorite player is Holland. But, man, I don't, I, but I don't like City. East, yeah. yeah, but I don't like City. I liked him when he was at like, Dor- no, no, Dortmund. No, no, so, yeah, because. Like, Man, what what I would have done to have this summer uh, Madrid sign Holland, it would have been Ooh, amazing. Ooh, that'd but, been crazy. Yeah, it would have been. But dude, uh, just the sport is just a, it's an art. It's it beautiful. Is. Yeah. And I mean, I, of Holland? course I'm biased to. I don't know who Holland is. Who man, is that? Holland, Holland. Just know he's can, a, can you look up Holland? He's a beast. Sure. Ho- highlights oh of Holland. Oh my. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, yeah no, no, Holland right yeah, now is like, he's like probably. So, Top talent probably in the world. He's uh, like 22, bro. Yeah, he's, he's super young. Is this the... I mean, who does he play for? He plays for Manchester Man City. City. Yeah, yeah he plays for Manchester City in the Premier League. But he, dude, crazy. He and eight, which is also the best league in the world right now. Mm-hmm. That like top tier. That that's <laughs> yeah. your boy right there. That's the boy. <laughs> He looks like a Targaryen. Dude, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 dude, dude, dragon that's so, no, no, I haven't. Damn, yeah, he I looks like a Targaryen. The, the Game, Game of Thrones. Either, oh, okay, yeah. I want to start on that. Nah, yeah, uh, my fault. That was dude, a side part, but he, he looks like a Targaryen. Yeah, I think he has like something like 14 goals in eight games. He's Holy in the, shit! In the Premier League, and that's and that's the best league in the and world. That's, yes, that's and the most he's physical. Eating. Yeah, it's fucking He's amazing. a beast, bro. He, uh, he scored like three hat tricks. Is he, so he's no agent. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like great wow. games to score three hat tricks. So, I mean, I don't really, that really yeah, looks not much either. But Norwegian. is he kind of like newer in the league or like he, is he been around? This season. This is the first eight, first eight games in the league. And oh, this is but that, that's the thing about soccer though. He's like a, he's a robot, think, like, cause, like obviously this is his first time in in this league, yeah. which is the like, best league in the world. Be. But he's played since he was yeah. like sixteen. Yeah. But he was a beast prior to no. this. Like on the record, on the record, it says sixteen. But that dude looks like he was born into soccer. Mm, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> his his dad, dad Man City. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the crazy thing with him is like he's. I think twenty one. I think so. Yeah, he's young. He bro. has over a hundred professional goals. Yeah, and I'm I'm understanding it. He has like 150, 170 something. Yeah, he's closer to two hundred already. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi at his age did not have those numbers. Yeah, and those are the you know the elite. The yeah, elite that's yeah. the, the sports. Go talk. Yeah, yeah. So, 
So, so he has incredible, incredible numbers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude, the, the, the sports of it's, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it, I see it as an art. Yeah. Um, every day that I watch a game, every any time that I play, I just fall even more in love. With it. I don't know how, but yeah. just I I see myself sometimes at work. Uh, I'll be I'll be like fantasizing about oh I'm gonna make trouble this way or that this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been yeah, working yeah. alone by yourself, so I see. Yeah, yeah. 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 maybe the men, right. the, you know, the delusion will come to me. Yeah. 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 I was gonna yeah. say we there. we played like a little like pickup game the like, other day. Yeah. The other yeah. day, yeah. literally. Like, that was like the first time like like I said I, I I got into soccer a little later in life, but like that was the first time I've like officially not officially but like actually went out and was like oh let's like go kick around a ball and try to score type yeah. shit and bro i had a blast Dude, like you, you my, shit, blast. Yeah. Like, my it, uh my legs after that were hurting oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's yeah, like yeah, cardio one thing that i one more thing that i like absolutely love about the sport is that it's a gateway to other sports yeah see because like me uh the you know the years that i played as a goalkeeper i now am able to just randomly my friends who invite me to play volleyball right yeah I have a fucking blast. Yeah, that's because shit is I'm not too. afraid to die for the fucking yeah. ball and do this and yeah. that. Like I, I as a, I, I guess they do say that like as a, a professional soccer player, he starts to transition into other professional sports, really? such as basketball and this and that. Mm-hmm. But the, the team aspect, right? Yeah, that's but right. but and soccer players tend to be more athletes than yeah. you know, like the NFL would have like bulkier guys. Like those guys are not gonna be running up and down the field. Like True. That. Yeah, yeah, that's like fair. That. That's fair. Yeah. Or a basketball player is not gonna be able to do what a soccer player does with their feet, right? True. So, um, Things like that, it, it is a gateway into other sports and it really makes you see it in uh, in another light, you know, and yeah. it's just, it, it's huge, dude. Yeah. It's huge. It get from one team to another, like, we'll, we'll talk about Santos and we'll talk about Man City and this and that. We're talking about Mexico, you know, England. Austin and FC. Austin FC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And even then, even like now, I am falling in love with this uh, second division team, my second division team from Italy. Really? Uh, called uh, Venezia. I've heard of them. Yeah, so. That's and, and the thing is, they have beautiful kids. I have not heard kids. of them. Yeah. yeah. They, they have, have what? Beautiful kids. Yeah. Kids? Kids. kids. Oh, like kids. Like jerseys and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. They, kids. yeah, I was like, kids, I was like, what do you mean? Hey, like, look at those, those are. Yeah, that's, wow. yeah, yeah, Damn. that's honestly how I heard about them because I've like, yeah. I've been watching YouTube videos and the guy would talk about oh like, the shit yeah, yeah those are beautiful dude. and that's yeah, that's, that's from pa- last season the, the one from this season shit. dude they're uh, you know it's it's oh, Italy it's wow. more fashionable they I fall in love with this team just by the jerseys I start playing career mode with them in FIFA dude mm-hmm. I'm following the team now like uh, and okay. I'm watching I'm keeping up with the games and stuff yeah low key I don't follow like soccer that much I'll be honest. But I definitely would go buy that. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Just look nice. Yeah, like, no, it's cool. Exactly. Yeah, they're gonna like the probably material and shit. They're like giving very detailed. About and it, and like, you'll be surprised because it even in Italy, these jerseys and this team itself, because it has a whole detailed history about yeah. it. This team, I believe, has been around since 1902, 1907, yeah. something like that. Dude, their history is fucking insane, and yeah. they're just now really getting recognized yeah. in, worldwide in the last two, three years. Mm. Um, yeah. they, they've been in the just Serie A, right? Huh? Yeah, so last the, season they were in the Serie A. They, they got just relegated. got relegated this season, oh, gotcha. unfortunately, which is when I started following them. Yeah. Um, but even even you know, like a little thing as a jersey, it, that's how global and how big the sport is. Exactly. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never heard of seven. Wow. Yeah. See, I've never seen a European person mm-hmm. with a let's say a cowboys jersey or true. anything like that that's i've true. never seen that yeah i'm yeah. not saying it doesn't exist but i've never seen, seen it, it. Yeah. at least at the scale that i've seen uh Just these things random I've, dude, kit, like, yeah, yeah i've seen all these random also soccer FC jerseys here dude also have seen gear mm-hmm. that's like a team that has been in existence for two years mm-hmm. they have gear in um present at premier league stadiums really at premier league stadiums Wow. For teams that have been around for hundreds of years. Yeah. You know, and the you go get a Austin FC shirt. That's yeah. dope. And, and I think that just goes to show like, how, like, worldwide this world is. Yeah, that that's just what, like, you, I just, yeah. I enjoy it, bro. Like, I'm, I've come to realize that like, all sports, like, I just appreciate it. Yeah. So it's like, and it's just cool to see that. And that is a clean that, polo. That, like, it, ramp, yeah, 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 those are hard. Yeah. That, that is nice. nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah I was out there about them for sure. That that gold one, I have, I, I was able to buy both of them. Dude, that gold one in person. Where'd you so buy them from? Cool. 
Uh, so I'm lucky enough to have a provider that is able to get it to me for you know a cheaper, gotcha, gotcha. cheaper price because those the, you those shirts that out. information you hear. yeah well the, that's that's a private one hit me up though well, hit me up for <laughs> you know uh, yeah, 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 yeah let's we'll slide in and we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll make a deal we can yeah. discuss some business right right <laughs> I might have to talk to you because I want to start getting more jerseys bro. yeah kits and, and shit yeah no, that's another thing I started like I started a collection of jerseys yeah uh, even not just new ones but older ones like yeah, uh, retro ones retro ones how many how many would you say you have yeah. Right now, I probably have over fifty. Which 50, one are you? 60. Which one are you most proud of right now? Yeah. The, uh, like the which one that I like the most, or the history of it? Because well, like, mm. what is your both? favorite one? What, okay, yeah. What is your favorite one? What's your most expensive one? Oh. And then what was your your steal? The one you were like, oh shit, I got that for a deal. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll put it into these categories. The one that I wear the most is definitely this one. Okay. This one's upset. Cool. I love how it yeah, looks. Yeah. It looks Listos. clean. It looks clean. Right. I love it. It represents, you know, I, I live in Austin, you know. Yeah. And you can uh, wear that to work like nothing. Yeah, exactly. Why not? And I have a shitload of Austin FC gear. Uh, so up. this is the one that I wear the most. I have I have two David Beckham Real Madrid jerseys that I'm very, very proud of. One of which I got for 80 bucks. It's a fucking steal. It's an authentic jersey. Damn, wow. Uh, it is Both of them thing. for 80 bucks? Or no, no, no. One? So one was a gift. Oh, that one of them you got. Okay, okay, okay. One was a gift. I was fortunate enough that my mom found it at a garage sale. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh. And then it's a David Beckham. It's a beautiful black uh, Imagine jersey. Imagine that person does like... That person that person not, that that right is right authentic there. too. Yeah. Yeah. No! yeah. It should have been me. It, it should have been homeboy too. That <laughs> it should have been homeboy. Yeah, yeah but... I have I'm fortunate to have those but my I guess my most priced one would be the Real Madrid home kit from last season now the reason why that one's very special to me is because this was the first Real Madrid kit that I had bought in like two years mm. because I was I was not financially able to get the kits at the time and I didn't have my mm-hmm. provider yet yeah but this jersey was brought to me from the stadium, oh, from the Santiago oh, Bernabeu oh. itself. Okay, okay. And it was brought to me at a time, yeah, that's the one, beautiful jersey. You go back away? That, oh, I was Jeez. able to get it just in time to have it with me and watch the round of 16 of the Champions, Champions League, League last year. Oh, which if you guys go and look at t- into that run, it's fucking Crazy. insane how Mad- that Madrid actually won it. Yeah. Because we beat uh, PSG, which were the Champions of France, mm-hmm. The stack team, they have Mbappé, Messi, Neymar, which is probably three of the biggest names in football, yep. at least in the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we were able to defeat them with the comeback of dreams. You know, in like 10 minutes, 30 minutes, we were able to turn the game around like that. Yeah. Uh, and then we went on to beat Chelsea, which were at the time the champions of Europe. Is that what they call that, the comeback of dreams? So it's or a very it's used term, okay. that, well, you know, when you're, when you're down. but. Last season we were we used it a lot as Madrid fans because mm-hmm. we went down a lot. Mm-hmm. Like at Chelsea, the game against Chelsea, I already had the the jersey on. Yeah, that, that jersey just meant a lot because it was, it's from the stadium. Mm-hmm. I got and I mean I got to I watched all those games at Hop Squad, which is a bar right across from uh, Q two, mm-hmm. and Not too far. I already had it with me that that. That game against Chelsea, the second leg, we are, we were already, we were about to get eliminated. We were really close. Yeah. And and uh, like a really last minute one, a pass from a completely different game. Uh, tres dedos, as we say, just a, a swoosh, mm-hmm. and our striker just put it right in the net, like nothing. Uh, we went to extra time and we won. After that, against Chelsea, the current, the, at the time, the current champions of Europe. And then we went against Manchester City. Manchester City, as a team, is probably the best thing in Europe at the time. Mm-hmm. They are coached by probably the most elite coach for a lot of people. They're... Uh, uh, Pep Guardiola is his name. Bill Belichick? Yeah, they're Bill Belichick. Yeah, they're kinda, Popovich. Yeah, yeah. They're Popovich. Pop- yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're Nick Saban. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're Nick Saban. Yeah, yeah but hey, Pep, Pep is not the best, by the way. Just letting y'all know. Yeah. He's not? No, no, no. Well, in my opinion, no. I think, oh, I think he's, the uh, he's one of the best. Who's yeah, the best? He, at least in the last years, he, he's 
he hasn't won shit since he left. Barcelona, yeah, man, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best so, to you? Huh? Who's the best to you, coach? The best coach, Manager. man. It, it's hard for me to say because um, I love Sir Alex Ferguson. He mm. never coached Real cool. Madrid, but yeah. Sir Alex Ferguson left a legacy in Manchester United, United yeah. which is so sad to see what's going on with them too. Um, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Uh, definitely Zinedine Zidane, dude. You can't leave Zinedine Zidane. Yeah. Not just as a player, but him as a coach. He won with Real Madrid, something that no other team in Europe has won, yeah. which is win three Champions League in a row. Ooh, okay. Back to back to back. And those were Ronaldo Gold years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's that been like... Chicharito. Chicharito. And then you have... Uh, She's trying to stretch now, but you said that. <laughs> I, mean, I thought you were yeah. just like totally on that. I was like, uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, no. probably the biggest coach in the moment uh, would be Carlo Ancelotti, <laughs> which is currently Real Madrid's coach. Yeah, he won the Champions League last year. Yeah, but he is the first coach to have won at the uh, national title in all five of the biggest leagues in Europe. Mm, damn. And I believe he's now the coach with the most Champions League trophies. Really? With uh, four, if I'm not wrong. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay. And just to give you an insight of just how big Real Madrid is within Europe, yeah. the squad from last year, all of those Real Madrid players already have five Champions League titles to their name. Damn. Barcelona, if we're going to bring up an example, yeah. as a whole club, has five. Jeez. Just, just, just Jeez. So alone, each, that whole team that has each, gotten as yeah. Yeah. Which is club. Real Madrid's biggest uh, rival. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, they have like, they have five. Real, uh, Messi, I believe, has, I don't think he has four. I think he has three. I'm not sure of how many chapters that he has. Yeah. But we have uh, Vallejo, which is a player that, uh, that doesn't, He's part of Madrid, but he doesn't play at all. Yeah. He has five Champions Leagues. Just on him alone. <laughs> Just him alone. That's crazy. And that's insane. That is I insane. mean, it's part of, of course, the team and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, of course. But it's, it, it's crazy to say, you know, him alone in his career, yeah. or Nacho, which is another uh, player that doesn't play much, yeah. has five Champions Leagues to his name. That's fucking insane. That is insane, bro. Yeah, it's players crazy. that don't play much, but... Yeah, they just play a part of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. Yeah, so yeah, that would be my... Um, my most uh yeah like uh, the, 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 the jersey that i have the most yeah, 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 but, the and most also because that champions league final i was not able to watch it at home or at a bar i had i had requested the day off uh for about a month and i wasn't able to get it uh, what it, yeah so they uh, didn't give me the day uh so i had to watch it at, at work so i had to sneak around and find a way uh lame. to watch it but yeah lame as fuck but <laughs> i went to the, i remember going to the break room and I took off my fucking shirt off, and I and I put on my I put on my Madrid jersey, and I started watching the game. Uh, and fortunately for me, that game was delayed about thirty minutes, so I had time to catch up on work and be like, okay, I'm, before I go to break or lunch or whatever, I have to like, you know, yeah. set everything up perfectly. Yeah, yeah. We won that Champions League, and I was wearing my jersey, and You're I was at work. Crazy. Dude, I don't I don't know if anybody saw me in the break room or not. I fucking cried. Like, I fucking cried. It was fucking insane because the the player Vinicius Jr. that scored it, mm -hmm. he's been getting shit on so much throughout the whole fucking uh, last three years, mm -hmm. and now he's a fucking beast. Yeah, because of that. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. that guy now. Yeah, he's like, that dude. Yeah, sure. he is him. He's young. Yeah. He is him. Yeah, he's him. Yeah, he is him. Yeah, uh, right oh, now Vinny is. He is him. He's, he's cold, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and he's young too. He's like, twenty one. Yeah. 21 and he's all these young guys in yeah. uh mm -hmm. that's uh, is this all the champions league correct that we're yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta be there. like champions league is lit bro because it's essentially like the super bowl of the of europe and europe obviously is probably going to have majority of the best leagues in the world so it's like yeah you know, the top teams from france germany england gavi pedri i sent you a young homeboy Rodrigo. i sent you some as well he ain't young i sent you a young homeboy <laughs> Yeah, he's he, 25. He, he, he gonna get past. He, he ain't that. He ain't that guy no more. He, he, you're not that guy, pal. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but yeah, no. I mean, uh, Homer and here had posted some of the names of mm -hmm. the youngest players: Pedro, yeah. uh, Pedri, Gavi, Barcelona players. Yeah, uh, young, amazing talents. But, yeah. Uh, so far, I think the biggest talent in the, at least in the under 23, other than Kylian Mbappe, yeah. uh, probably Vinicius Junior. 
Yeah. yeah. Exploded. Yeah. yeah what did you great. call him? Vinny. 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 But Vinny's Vinny. 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 Jr. Killy. Killy Mumbamba. Yes. I'm actually. Killy Mumbamba. Killy Mumbamba. I'm gonna say I'm actually a junior. So when I whenever I'll be rocking my uh, Austin SC jersey, I'll be feeling like him low key. Yeah. Cause I Salazar Jr. on the back. That shit is tough, bro. Come back from those commercials, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, your most expensive jersey. My most expensive jersey. Well, I think one of those Beckham ones I've actually seen. Uh, it's retail value if you want to buy it on like one of the one of those uh, classic uh, football shirt sites. I think one of them is over two hundred bucks. Mm. Uh, I think that's the black one. It's uh, they, yeah. they're, I, these are all authentic, I would yeah, assume. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I have like nothing probably less. I have two replica ones and those are from when I was like like, like a kid. Uh, but that and you know once you try on an authentic jersey, it's hard to go back to a replica. Oh. Because I mean, most people will probably know, dude, those, the difference in quality and, and feel, or if you ever have a player give you a jersey, a match-worn one or something, you will see, like, it, those are different, too. And that could be you, because I know you, like, sit, like, where you could touch them. Well, I'm not touch them, but, you know, I can scream at them. They'll hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 know that they know it's me. Then They can yeah. hear me out. They can throw, throw it. It's still reaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, that, that's the beauty of U2 Stadium as well. Like, yeah, everything is so close. <laughs> um, so, you said that the retail is the most, but, like, what's, person, what's, like, the most, most money you spent on, like, one of the jerseys? Uh, that would be the one, uh, my most prized possession would be the, the Real Madrid from last season. The kit uh, one? Uh, that kit, because I, play, I paid, like, uh, 200 bucks uh-huh. for it, but that's a jersey from the stadium. Yeah. It's, uh, it has a, play, a player name and number on the back. Oh, from the you know who, who who was it? Ah, Karim Benzema. Benzema. Yeah, Benzema. Okay. He, Benzema. Ballon d'Or yeah. likes the like. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he deserves no, that shit for sure. For sure. Uh, so that's the one I paid the most for. Mm-hmm. I've never really paid more than than that for that jersey. But it was mostly you know uh, the the value of the jersey mm-hmm. and bringing it from Spain. Yeah, so, that's, that's yeah. like priceless riff, for real. Yeah. yeah, but for me, like, I have that jersey framed. I am. Oh, uh, yeah, I was about to say, do you wear it or? N- I so I've you worn it that? to those games. Okay. Yeah, and to but the you, final. You have it framed? At the- yes, I have it framed. So you have to take it out of a frame every time? Oh, fuck yeah. Not anymore. Now it's like, oh. yeah, I was like, he's the probably not yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> the other one that does compare in price, I don't know how much it would be worth. I have another one of these uh, signed. I think there's only like two, three players missing. Uh, I also have that shit. one. I have that one uh, from the frame. team from Austin FC. Yes. Wow. Is that framed or is that like? No, that? absolutely, it's framed. Yeah, okay. that one's like. I was like, please, yeah, tell so me that's framed. That's yeah, dope, bro. That, that one's. Uh, I, nobody's able to touch it. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. nah. Yeah. Probably you could, you could look, not one. touch. So, yeah. <laughs> if you knew you need like another signature on it, like that you're missing, would you pull off of that? Who are oh, you yeah, missing? Yeah, Who yeah. are you missing? I think I'm I'm missing Rigoni, well, the new guy, of course. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, he's new. I think I'm missing Hector Jimenez and uh, Diego Fagundes, mm. which is funny enough because I Fagu shops at the at H E B where where I work at, and really, yeah, he, he a lot of players actually shop there. Uh, Drew has been spotted there. Maxi Uruti has been spotted there. So I've I've talked to Diego. I've talked to. See, just guys. I'm wearing this jersey every day. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna right. sign, I'm gonna I'll be wearing my shirt on on game days. My yeah, shirt, at least. Yeah. You won't see them on game days there. But yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, Diego. No, like, uh, for a commercial, maybe. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That uh, uh, HEB actually teamed up with that uh, with FC Dallas now. So. For real? Yeah, yeah. What? That that's so lame. Lame. That's and Because lame. of the store they opened over there in Frisco and shit. Yeah, but, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, they, they do shop there. They do shop there. I was, I've been able to talk to Diego, Ruti, uh, Juice. Like I said, Juicy has been spotted there as well. So the, some of the guys do have shop there. So yeah. So the jersey you are currently wearing. Yes, this one. You said that it has uh, some memorabilia about it. You yeah. Want to tell so us the story behind that? This one, this is very special to me because I did not pay for this jersey, right? Um, I was very fortunate to be give, gifted this by the club and C4 in an event in which they had uh, some of uh, some fans uh, 
went like a giveaway type mm-hmm. of thing and a game day experience in which we were able to go into the locker rooms. Damn, you won? Yeah, yeah. Hell I was able, yeah. Me and, you know, a couple of uh, other people, right? Uh, yeah. We were able to get would, that. Yeah. We were able to get that experience to uh, damn that's the game lit. Game. I mean, that's lit. Yeah, in the in the player parking lot, we you were probably able all to go. bricked up, huh? I mean, he's like, I was like, I was like, living my dream. They were like, <laughs> in, the, in the email it said, make sure to bring your cleats. So. <laughs> uh, man, see, I'm glad you brought that up because I was so upset we were not able to wear cleats. Oh. Uh, because of, because the field and you know, probably with most professional teams that yeah. will tell you the exact same thing. They don't want don't, you. They don't want us to mess with the field. That's fair. Yeah. And if you Bro, get that shit on, fixed, you got the money. <laughs> you got the money. You right. got the money. But you got the time. Actually, I, I, those things are so fucking expensive. Like the fields, the fields or that yeah. and yeah. shit. And especially because Austin FC is natural grass. It's no turf. Really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, shit. No. And, I didn't know that. You very, that shit looks beautiful. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Beautiful, dude. bro, for real. Hell like, yeah. And you, it's stepping on it, I mean... You're like getting bricked up right yeah, here. I, 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 I might just have to, you know, go build a house with all these bricks. But yeah, that, that that's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. field. And um, yeah, we were fortunate enough to win that. We were able to get in the dressing room to the lockers. Uh, they have this, you know, Lexus Club shit under the Lexus Club, which is the like the VIP section of the stadium oh wow. they have like a the strip poles like yeah yeah yeah. they got all, all that, that shit in there matthew For mcconaughey real? was all oh, right, right, right. <laughs> See, that, that, that's the next tier of yeah 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 we got to go from the locker rooms to this uh vip area where like uh, like in football stadiums, I know the Cowboys Stadium has. This is thing. the locker room crazy? I would hope probably. so. It, it's fucking beautiful. I would say like, it's probably. It's insane, I've right? seen like the I'm team a... videos when they're talking in the locker room, but like I, I haven't seen really that. seen like Dude, the videos. It's not doing it. Intern, it, does, it doesn't, it doesn't not, do it. Justice. No, no, the, the videos you look up in the Austin pictures. See, uh, does, locker room. Th- it does not do it justice. Dude. That, really? that locker room is beautiful. Um, you see it in pictures, but seeing it like in person and like. For me, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Like, yeah. I was able to sit in the same spot that... You were sitting in Juicy's fucking... I was sitting in Juicy's spot, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not, it's not, it's not, you, had, you had your course. balls over Juicy's locker? I, said, I had I put my balls in the same spot. He put his balls, bro. Imagine that. Uh, I was, it's what I've been dreaming. It's a, yeah, it just lit, This is the closest we're ever going to be. Yeah. Right? And that's that's the only player I haven't met, bro. Really? Uh, yeah. So it's Damn. crazy. He's the Super Saiyan. He's my favorite he is. player. Yeah, he's nice. Um, Damn, that is nice. MVP. That's fucking Ooh. beautiful. And, I mean, I wish. I, I hope. I wish him that he's my MVP. You know? Yeah, that's he's my MVP matters. too. Uh, Absolutely. My, I mean, he's my favorite Austin FC player. Yeah. Uh, but my second favorite, which I want to send a huge shout out to, Danny Pereira. Uh, he's he's an, an amazing guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Danny, if you're seeing this. Fucking love you, brother. We uh, hope you are. We, we love we you too, love you. bro. We love you fucking, too. You're a fucking goat, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's shout out, out, shout out that boy, Was Danny. that their first pick? Yes. Yeah, Danny, okay, Danny put it as the first uh, Austin, M- Austin yeah. FC draft pick. Hell yeah. And what a fucking history. pick, dude. Yeah. dude yeah. He, he's making history with this team. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know, I've been able to have a couple conversations with him. And, yeah. Um, here and there, uh, his brother Alexi. Which, if you're watching this, brother, I love you. Uh, you too. Uh, was, I've we been able. You. I've been able to be uh, pretty good friends with him actually, and that's uh, awesome. It means it means the world to me to actually have been able to meet them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, dude, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. You have that picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me show you guys. Because I know you—you you really look like that's your player card. Bro, like. I wish. I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up here, but that's me. We'll get a picture. Yeah, we'll, yeah, get we'll, a, we'll take. Yeah, we'll take uh, a picture. That's, yeah. that, I was able to get it a little bit. It looks dope, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's what I'm saying. He showed us right before. That's lit. And just another views. Yeah, there. and view, views it's from one thing to have that picture like digitally, right? Yeah. But that one of my things is like, and probably within the last year. I had to capture this on a Polaroid, bro. Yeah, I had to. I had to. Oh, it just makes it yeah. more. Is so that I, your Tinder profile, by the way? It might be. Don't. Okay. He's like, hey, just wait. Yeah. Hey, ladies, watch out for that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, bro, that's fire. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I, it's one It's one of my proudest things, other yeah. than, you know, the Real Madrid thing was huge, right? Yeah. But it's also from an arm's length, right? So yeah. they're, they're so far up, right? Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been able to meet a Real Madrid player. Yeah, yeah. Now, but... I was able to 
I was able to step on the Q2 field and not only did we get to actually there that's Danny that's Fargo right there yeah uh, bye. I was able to wow you're so happy <laughs> <laughs> what, what, and that's at the domain what, too wow. yeah. you are, and you have their arms around them and everything <laughs> like <laughs> like you straight yeah like away. you straight up like they're like, like your you know little them. brother or something you spoke yeah. right after so you yeah oh, yeah, 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 no, no, I I yeah I get it I get it they don't smoke yeah come on now yeah yeah no they don't do that uh, but yeah, dude, these um, I was a, I've been able to get a lot closer to Austin FC, yeah. and within this experience, not only did I get to take the pictures, I was able to like do drills and stuff on the field. That's awesome, so I actually bro. got to like, yeah, like live dribble, live out, this yeah, and live out your, your yeah, dream, yeah. you know, like I, I did, playing a professional. Me, me and my homeboy Hernan, uh, I took Hernan with me to yeah. be able to do this, and we we were like little kids on the yeah, field dude like they awesome. had the goal set up for us we were able to score yeah yeah i was able to get on the nets and yeah. screw and whatnot. take a couple you videos you would lose it you would yeah. lose it dude yeah. Yeah. you would go crazy that shit's so lit to me but bro. like anybody yeah. like anybody yeah. would do that yeah. Yeah. like it, it's if, just because it's like bro like it's like you gotta think about it like bigger picture too like going to other countries bro you hear when they score a goal and oh, they yeah. go crazy. fucking crazy yes, bro insane, dude. they're like ah and they're yeah. just like CMC collapsed whenever like they like score is crazy like it just yeah, yeah no that, it, that, that that's awesome bro it's so cool that you got to experience that you know like because yeah. not a lot of people can say they've done oh, that you know no. like and hell no. it, it saddens me bro that not a lot of people really appreciate it either yeah because, that's true uh, a lot of people like they're just really now starting to discover the the sport the team because it's here right yeah yeah but, and just because they're popping right now that's all but, yeah and, and it might be but it's okay because that's what the team is for like, yeah that's the you know yeah, it's, it's, it's to it, build know? a brand to you only really get to build this culture with the more with people right what yeah. what drake say we'll wait for y'all to catch up uh, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah facts. uh but the having having uh that it kind of saddens me that not every, not everything is there, right? Because yeah. I come from watching Real Madrid, Santos, yeah. which are like teams that are already, you know, established. Yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They've won their titles and this yep. and that. They got and history. Yeah, history. they got there history. Go. That's what it is. Yeah. Now that, that's also the beautiful thing about Austin. Yeah. We're witnessing history and making history. We're setting our, game. we're setting our roots as the yeah, as exactly. the oak we're, tree. We're, hey, we're growing the collective. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm. it, it's beautiful, but it's also. As as a long time uh, viewer and you know uh, lover of the game because that's really what I consider myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it sucks having to see the slow development of the team. Yeah, but it, it's also a beautiful thing, you know. To yeah, see, to see it, it it's like the whole process. You know? Yes, it, see, it's, it's a process. It. <laughs> like you know, like I, like I said, with like anything, season, with yeah, with anything, really, yeah. Uh, you know, like with the with, with, this, with your project, with, with your project, with, with this, this. your project, yeah, with yeah. my project, with uh, you know any of our projects, anybody, really. or the it, opinionated media, yeah, uh-huh. any any of it, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we you know start from the very very bottom. You start building little by little, five people, ten people, fifteen, yep. twenty, fifty. You know, uh, and now we're at ninety, like, and ninety, a hundred. You know, two hundred next. You never, you know, yeah. you keep growing and growing and now uh, that's what this that's what this is like that's what Austin FC is gonna do mm-hmm. and you know 10 years down the road who knows maybe we're already two times MLS champs by then Ooh, three times MLS yeah. champs why not dream about it right yeah, why not uh, and I PCT mean, is a media outlet for them yeah, 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 yeah. that's the goal bro for real like I said I've, cool. I've been so into it lately and the fact that you know we're I, right I, here we're literally we're, right, yeah, right here you know, you know, <laughs> it's right there bro and like I, like you said like i i've been supporting them since they became the team too yeah. and i saw how last season was from this year and it's it's kind of oh, incredible it's, like, lady, bro. it's, it's, it's ridiculous completely. like and, and i was watching the matches too and i was like bro like that shit's crazy like we we're actually good this year you know like oh. we can actually compete and potentially win a championship in our second See, year like and that that's something that i will tell you last year from the, from last year to this year mm. the only thing that changed really was that they're actually scoring yeah because the team yeah. that self the foundation of how they're playing was it's it's essentially same. the same yeah and uh if you anybody that like wants to be a coach or anything like that mm. will tell you 
that if you look at the foundation from last year to this year, mm-hmm. it's just that the foundation got another level up. Yeah. Because the, they were just able the, to the, score. Sy- yeah. the system is the same. Yeah. It, of course, it has its upgrades because yeah. you learn, you learn, you make mistakes and you learn. Yeah. They polished and perfected it. Exactly. It. That's all the players have came into exactly. their own, like, exactly. juicy all, and shit. All of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This mean, especially juicy. Yeah. yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> You can only expect them to get it down their first year so much. But yeah. By that mm-hmm. second year, it's like, oh, we've been doing this. We yeah. I, I personally, even though they were losing a lot last year, so yeah. I believe it's twenty one losses last year. Yeah, it was. It wasn't good. But watching watching them play, like if you were not looking at the scoreline, which is hard not to. Yeah. But if you're yeah. just not looking, if you're not looking at the scoreline, you're purely looking at how they play. Mm, like how they move the ball and their progress, they're breaking in between lines and watching these players like actually play mm-hmm. with uh, how they how they move you know with the ball in their feet mm-hmm. dude it's fucking amazing yeah and being able to see it live every 15 days or twice last year was like sometimes twice a twice week, a week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah dude, uh, that's fucking amazing it, it is, just makes bro. you love even yeah. love it even more because you you've been there from the beginning and now the fact that we are so good now it's like I was I was here last year when we hey, weren't doing hey, what we're around, doing. Look around, look around. Yeah. 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 He like, literally can say at? that. And he literally, literally can say that. The crazy thing is, bro, like, we, you know, we're all from Austin area. You know, we're yeah. from Pflugerville. So it's yeah, like that's where we're be, being in this area, bro, like, this wasn't here, like, literally no. five years ago. No. You know? No. So it's it crazy was, to think that. talks about it, it was like, oh, do you hear we might get a soccer team? Yeah. And it's like, like oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Like, that's like, a, that'd be lit. Like, I'd support them. Because that's the city, I remember a lot of people were saying, yeah, but they're going to fucking die when UT comes in place. No, motherfuckers! Like that, that, yeah, they did. coming around the corner. Austin FC is selling out tickets. Ticket, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, look at those hey, ticket I prices. Feel like, I, in hey. my opinion, in my opinion, I think Austin FC is bringing a bigger audience in. It's than going UT. to. Yeah. It's going to. I mean, of course, you know, if you want to be very technical about it, it has a small stadium. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a twenty thousand. Yeah. You said twenty thousand. Right? It's a little bit over twenty thousand. It's almost twenty one thousand. I feel like that like adds to like the feeling of it though. It's like because if you have Absolutely. a big stadium, if you stack like, that bitch out, yeah, it's like because if you have a small, big stadium and no one's there, like or not not no one's there, but it's not packed out, then it's like oh hey like, well, and and that's what you see. I mean, yes, it's the effect of a new team, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you see teams like uh, Houston, Houston mm-hmm. Dynamo has two MLS cups, right? Their stadium's fucking empty. Oh yeah, week in week out, they brought a fucking Mexican star, like. One of a big name player, right? Mm. They sold out their first game. Who again? Us? Uh, uh, Houston. Houston, Houston Dynamo. Hector, they brought Hector Herrera. Everybody thought, oh, their stadium's gonna get filled up again, and yeah. this and that. Bullshit, dude. They sold out two games since he's been there. Damn. Dal- Dallas, dude, same shit. Yeah. Not they didn't bring the uh, Mexican star to, the, to you, the Latino base, but they it, brought other players. Right? Yeah. They invested, dude. They have. <laughs> Don't they yeah. have a, a striker right now from the like he's from the US, right? Who's like really good? Oh, can we, yeah, can yeah. we pull up the Houston? Pereira, yeah. yeah. Can we pull up the Houston guy, Dynamo? He fucking scored a scoring against sure. Austin. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. But yeah. um, I mean Dallas dude. The, the, you know Austin has seen ticket prices. The right? midfielder, is that the guy you're talking yes. about? Yeah, to the right mm-hmm. So you guys, what's your what's the average price you guys think for Austin FC tickets? I think like seen? Had, that have we seen? Yeah, or like what's the most you've seen? Uh, lately? Well, these playoff tickets that we yeah. just looked at. Yeah, these playoff tickets. Right. Yeah, but, the regular if you, season? but if you look regular season, if you look like two, three weeks in advance, they're like 80 bucks at yes. most. Okay. That's in advance, like, so though. Yeah. That's just 80 bucks, right? Yeah. yeah. FC Dallas, the same amount of time in between games, has combos and tickets in which they'll give you a hot dog a beer and a hat what the fucking f- 20 bucks are you serious yeah, dude, fucking dying, bro. damn like, damn that's that's so you much. you hear that you get a free glizzy you a get free a free glizzy, glizzy for 20 bucks and a soccer bucks. match and a hat and, and a hat yeah i mean you get to attend a, a, like a professional, a professional game, game. Yeah. we might you just have to go it. just because that's a good deal dude but just imagine I, but we're wearing an austin fc shit let's yeah, just say that you don't want to be part of that trash no absolutely not Bro, well, you, okay. Let me go on my little vent right now because we're talking about these playoff tickets. All right. First <laughs> off, oh, see, for, oh, see, oh, see, see, for real. Love yeah. Austin. Bro, so, I, love, I love Austin. Trust me, I was waiting at like ten, t- yes. tried, ready to get those tickets. I but sent him my see, money at nine fifty nine. I I try to get me, Zay, Drea, and Carlos tickets. <laughs> that shit was like 500 something bucks right I, I was fine with that I was like bro they're, they're gonna pay me back it's whatever he like, literally, and I, and I, I get to go to the match money. cause it's the first playoff game there ever so it's like alright I wanted to go 
that shit like the website was bugging bro like every time i try to check yeah. out it was like oh gone gone, gone like the gone. tickets the amount of tickets that you wanted couldn't be purchased i was like all right whatever Dick kept trying 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 and then it ended up got, getting to a point where it said oh your card has been declined we can't go through the transaction yeah. and i'm like bro what the fuck so i had to call my bank they're like yeah you try to i see that there's like 14 transactions that we declined and i was like yeah because i was trying to get these goddamn tickets for all my and, friends and like you don't want to first fucking win game. and like <laughs> y'all are bullshitting so they're like well but, cj do you think that's a great i mean shut up you're not my big anyways <laughs> that's besides the point yeah. but yes like bro like it sucked because i wanted to be a part of that so bad but yeah no, and, no. and, and honestly you, you might still be able to right now it's the hype right yeah. so it's the thing uh, you wait a little closer. I mean, we still don't even have a date. Yeah, or a point, it, we don't have a time. Yeah. So once that get that stuff gets settled, maybe, yeah, the ticket prices will go down. Yeah. Now I will say that I am very very fortunate yeah. to have CC tickets. Yeah. yeah. You're a yeah. season yeah. pass sure, holder. Yeah. 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 You're, I'm you're a part of the O Collective. Uh, yes, but I think it's a little separate thing because um. the O Collective is like the wait list. Gotcha. And then you have like your like set the actual yeah, yeah. season ticket. Yeah. yeah so I, I am very fortunate that I was able to snack and snipe those things early. Uh, yeah. Like, out from season one, right? Yeah. So uh, the prices for me were different. Yeah. Right. Uh, fortunately for me, but I do feel just pain because dude. I mean, if I wanted to take someone else, like yeah, dude. Yeah, no, so, yeah, I, shit. I was like, bro, like I I wanted to go so bad. I yeah. was willing no, to pay like a hundred. Just, just so. be patient. Right? Th- 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 those prices will. They're gonna drop. go down. I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised. We might if just they have to go... get the standing one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't care, I mean, bro. I just want to be even in there. that. I mean, I remember the very first game, home game against San Jose last year. I saw someone sell their tickets for a thousand a pop. Sheesh! Uh, and that, not that was that the much, very first so. home game. A thousand? a thousand a pop, and it wasn't even Lexus Club. Yeah, it, it was just, like, split. just like standing. Like no, 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 it wasn't standing. It wasn't supports. It, was, it, it was decent it was, seat. It was a decent seat, but it wasn't even. It like, better be. It wasn't even like a row five, or row two. No, yeah. it was like a high, like higher. It wasn't on the second level, but it was like on Pretty the high, high like row, a row eight, for maybe a row rack. ten. I think it was like a row twenty. Oh, say, for a rack. Yes, for if, a rack each. Yeah, yeah, you got me fucked. And up. it wasn't even towards the center. I watched that shit from the crib. In the corner. So yeah, you know, I mean, I've seen those, uh, I've seen those ticket prices go fucking insane. But just, be, just be a little patient. And yeah. Once no, all I'm, I'm definitely going to check thing. closer, like once the date actually yeah. is finalized. And supposedly I saw like, cause I follow them on you know Twitter, everything, yeah. and like I, I saw that like there was like supposedly they're going to do like a like a waves of tickets. Like is that, that true? That be, or? I mean, I don't know for sure for sure for sure but don't be surprised if there is okay. i mean hey, yeah i'm gonna be on the lookout for sure yeah be on the lookout i know that today they just did release like this thing they're gonna do like a playoff party mm. before the actual game on oh, the 11th uh and i think oak collective got invited to that too oh shit. so there's gonna be like a whole like party with like the the coach the sporting director and the oh. players so it's gonna be bad that sounds, yeah that sounds live okay. yeah yeah it's yeah. gonna be nice it's gonna be at downtown too if i'm not wrong so oh shit it's gonna, it's yeah. gonna be a really you nice might have to fade. Right, hell yeah, right, yeah. right before uh right before a playoff like game, playoff so. game yeah like the good yeah hell yeah what shit bro i think that was a i think that was a great pod i think yeah. so too yeah and, you know thank you for coming on to you know our uh, channel and you know sharing your story and uh, I appreciate you, you know just me. you as a person getting to know you a little bit more you know like you know we said we work with each other but we don't, don't ever really get to sit yeah, and it, have conversations yeah, we're like, like chopping up like this yeah, 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 so. yeah no, it, it's a whole different like <laughs> scenario yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly so yeah like i said just appreciate you taking time out of your day to come here wow. you know i know we're all busy and you know the fact that you're you just pulled up on it says a lot and you know we'll be in touch more and yeah, you know we, sure. we definitely I mean, want to get more into you know you know, I know we didn't really get into it this episode, but you 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 do your own like YouTube stuff too, or yeah. So I, well, I was part of Where Austin TV, and you know, I was helping them out for yeah. a good amount of time. Uh, right now, I'm like uh, doing my own thing. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm separated from them. Of course, I still support the guys. Of course, uh, I yeah. watch the episode and when I always yeah. show love to them as much as I can. Yeah. Uh, but I do have in the future plans to start my uh, own work like right now uh, like i said i'm the head of media of the peña madridista yeah so i'm um, i'm working on that i'm trying to work on learning how to edit properly do it yeah do it your, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. really doing learning the process because i was able to join where austin tv right yeah and i was more of a collaborator trying to i was hopping on on spaces yeah and doing oh, the interviews yeah. outside and yeah. whatnot but i want to do more of my own 
to be off the game, right? My yeah. own a uh, little more tactical talk yeah. and whatnot. Okay. So that that's what I'm working on right now. I mean, I've been very fortunate to have uh, a, this this fan base that has really brought everybody together, and you know the Austin FC family is fucking amazing. Yeah, like, it's awesome, bro. Uh, we've all been able to. I've been. I was just invited to collaborate with uh, another podcast uh, here soon. Yeah. So I mean, that in itself is oh, that, amazing. That's that, awesome, that, bro. I'm, you know, just moves, a normal. Just moves yeah, being yeah. Made. Just a, Grind I mean, out I can say, you know, just a normal guy being able to have these types of flat platforms. Is yeah. Fucking amazing so who, to me. the yeah. people you know to be able to, you know, I guess yeah, interact no, like, and network with them. Yeah, networking and I mean, hopefully, like I said, this will bring me to. So you know, my the conclusion of what I want for my my dream, which is to end up working somewhere, maybe Austin FC one day. You know, but we never know. Something we never like know. That. Yeah, it could be, hey, you could be working for Real Madrid, bro. I mean, Ooh, why not, right? Yeah, so, yeah, come man, right? <laughs> yeah, come with me, bro. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming on again, bro. Yeah, thank you, yeah, appreciate you. sir. We uh, appreciate oh, you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Uh, rate us five stars on all audio platforms. Five uh, likes. Five each likes of y'all. for Zay Zay. Yeah, dude. Um, don't forget to follow us on all social media. Like I said, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Ring them buttons. all that good stuff, bro. We appreciate y'all so much, and uh, we'll see you next Monday. Peace. Love yeah, you, long. Dig. We love oh, yeah, you. Uh, don't forget to uh, go buy Float and Toe merch as well. Gang, 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 gang. Yeah, dig.